Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So we are back again with the top rank up option videos and I do need to make a uh, pace for these have been actually quite swamped, but uh, let's just get to it. So best seven star champions to take up to rank three. And unlike in the science class, I don't think there is a clear favorite here because the skill class seven stars are kind of in the most odd place where majority of the offensive options you know they're good they're solid but they're missing kind of like top of the top champions from uh skill class and we do have some extremely powerful defenders which means that who is going to be best for you to rank up pretty much is going to entirely depend on what you are looking for whether you're looking for offensive champion as most people probably are or balance defender or something in between and that said I want to get the first thing out of the way and talk about Bullseye. Bullseye is going to be a solid rank up option because at the moment I would be hesitant to rank 3 Bullseye. That's why I'm not going to feature him in this video. Uh, because Bullseye is still subject to balance change and Bullseye probably is arguably the most likely case for a tune down that we can see defensively and potentially a tune up offensively. So we do not necessarily have a great idea whether it will happen and if it does, what are going to be changes that are made to him. So I personally, if I was so lucky to pull a sensor Bullseye, would probably, you know, take him to rank two and leave him there for a bit until I know for sure what is going to be his fate. So here, the best like rank of offense champions that I'm considering. And again, this is going to be in no particular order for this video specifically, because there's just such a huge, huge variety. Because we have kind of like three champions in one group. Number one is Killmonger. I would not rank two or three Killmonger unduped personally. I know people who have, but I do notice a distinct difference in how useful he is unduped or duped. Uh, but if you do have Awakened Killmonger, I do think he's a legit rank three option. Obviously, you do need to protect him mainly from like CGR. The rest of the fights, he can put up at least moderately good uh, resistance, and he is a tough defender in many of the matters. Occasionally, can be useful offensively, even especially as a rank three. So, Killmonger is one of the more likely rank three candidates for me personally in the skill class, but that is because I value Balgrounds a lot. Again, offensively, if you're looking at him as just a questing champion or something of the sort, then obviously not. However, again, some of the best options, in my opinion, skill class are more so defensive options, which will not fit for everybody. So I do think Killmonger is definitely worthy in this top seven list, but he should be awakened for that. Next up is Korg. Korg is... Korg's Korg. Korg's been one of the toughest defenders since forever. Again, I would not rank two or three him unawakened, but uh, even at 20 or 40, I think he's worthwhile rank up. Because, you know, the shrug off, yes, it happens less often, but you still never know when it's going to happen. It can still catch you out. Obviously, damage back still can be very painful. And ultimately, yes, he does have plenty of counters and a lot of people have learned to fight him very, very well. It still doesn't change the fact that he's just annoying and takes time. Even if you have a good counter, most champions still take considerable amount of time. So... Again, if you do have Balagrand's focus and have Awakened Korg, I do think he's a perfectly legit option. One of my top two skill options to take rank three at the moment in the game, if you're looking and focusing on that. <clears throat> Moving on, the last one of the defensive trio, I think slightly behind Killmonger and Korg, uh, is Atuma. Now, Atuma's charm does kind of lie in when he's tanky, because Atuma can be nuked with relatively moderate health loss, when he's small-ish, because there's nothing really stopping you from being hyper-aggressive against the two men, you know, nuking him down before the unstoppables and the rest of the stuff appears. But, um, highly ranked at Tuma is definitely very formidable. Also, he is better offensively than many people think, especially with the AI parrying you left, right, and center. Uh, and if you do learn some tricks that I believe Fintech utilizes getting parried on purpose, then he can be even more effective offensively and he's just one of those champions that you know we do see plenty of it's not again i personally would prefer killmonger or a tuma sorry killmonger or cork over a tuma but 
I do think that uh, if all three champions are unawakened, then a Tuma makes most sense for a skill defender. That is why I'm mentioning here. Big 20 or unawakened, I think he does make the most sense um, to go up to rank 3 if you're looking for a defender. Moving on, offensively, obviously, Shang-Chi. Now, I know Shang-Chi is beloved by many, and he is one of the better skill 7-star defensive options. Uh, again, have always been perfectly honest when it comes to Shang-Chi. I've had him very early on. I think he's solid. Never really clicked with him. He can be very good. He can be ranked up unawakened, which is a great plus as well. You do not lose that much from him not being awakened. And uh, even at low sig when you get him, he's still going to obviously get vast majority of the benefit from his sig ability immediately. So he's like a solid 7th time in that regard. And then offensively, obviously, plenty of Purify mechanics, slow, unblockable, stuns, easy, heavy attacks. There's lots that you can do with Shang-Chi as well, and he can function as a Balgrand's nuke, as a questing champion. So uh, definitely solid option. One of my personal favorite champions in the game, I think Black Cat. Uh, now the thing with Black Cat is that with her, I don't think the improvement will be necessarily as high as with somebody like Shang-Chi or some other champions on this list, because most of the things kind of typically die after the level two, and your fight times in short fights will not change that much with Black Cat from rank two to rank three. And that has to do with the fact that you drop level two, then the bleeds take effect, and then the bleeds just, you know, bleed out the opponent or finish. You still need to get to the level two, you still need to drop it, and then the bleeds, you know, will get you there slightly faster, obviously, when white, uh, Black Hat is ranked up. She does not need to be um, awakened as well to rank up offensively. Still think she's underrated. She can take quite a few champions that, you know, you would not necessarily think she can take. And then in some matters and node combinations, obviously, she gets supercharged when you have nodes that, you know, can get triggered by champions getting hit. Black Hat often has a field day with that. Synergizes extremely well uh, with Black Widow Relic also. And uh, ultimately, I think, has been a very, very successful addition to the game. And uh, yeah, I have Black Hat at rank 2 myself. Absolutely love having this champion when the right occasion calls for it. Now, moving on, I think Chilt. Now, Chilt, again, I don't necessarily think Chilt would make it to this list in, you know, some of the other classes. But again, we are in a very weird situation with skill class in general. And Chilt is one of those champions that I believe will often find places and, and matchups and fights where she can do greatly. Counter Unstoppable, relatively well. She has access to a lot of bleed damage. She has Cleanse. Uh, she has Tranquilize. And additionally to all of that, she can block for days. And she's built like a tank. Uh, and she can be somewhat decent defender on occasion as well, especially, you know, if opponent doesn't have bleed immune. And uh, in general, the way I describe shield is she's solid. I don't think she's up there in general with overall case of the champions. I don't think she's, you know, anything to scoff at either. I think she's a very well built, solid, solid like two way champion that is not necessarily the go to option for everything, but there will be times and there will be places where Shield is virtually the best option or one of the best options. And overall, when you do take somebody like Shield rank three, you can throw her on defense because, again, she's tanky and has cleanses and you know has things to play around. And offensively, too, given how powerful is the science class, given how she well she can do in some of the outsized matchups as well i think she's very much so worth considering if i pulled a skill rank up gem um again i would personally go for either kill killmonger or Korg. but if i was looking for more of an offensive input in my account i think shield would be up there as well and then moving on we have mantis which i consider to be well, arguably, if I need to put every single champion out there and, you know, gun to the head, forced to rank them. Oh, Chilt also does not need to be awakened. Just a quick point out. But yeah, I think Mantis is uh, the champion that would make most sense to me if I was looking for an offensive skill champion. Uh, because she can still be placed on defense and she can still trip people up. 
with the neutralize, obviously, and if she throws the level one, opponents need to be very, very careful. And then offensively, giving her extra rank immediately gives her level two more reach and gives you more things that she can just nuke. Now, the thing with Mantis is, obviously, she has a fairly peculiar playstyle, and, you know, people either like it or they don't. You need to get used to her animations using Mantis. You need to know exactly what her level 2 damage is and, you know, when it will be enough. There are a few rotation tips and tricks that you do need to be aware of. How you can, you know, charge a heavy attack, chain that into a relic, and then ch ch charge your heavy attack again, and then level 2, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are bits to learn, but, uh, yeah, I think Mantis's uh, Tranquilize is underrated. Especially, again, given how potent Scythe class at the moment is. Um, she would be the more offensive champ. Well, I, I personally like Black Hat better, but I do think Mantis is better because she's slightly better on defense. And I do think, you know, her being better photon counter and her completely shutting off science champions, especially as defender as well, uh, has quite a bit of value in that. And yeah, it does not necessarily need to be awakened either. So those are the best skill rank up options, in my opinion. Next up, we are going to be taking a look at Mutant Champions. And uh, Mutant Champions have a fairly different situation because we have clear favorites there. That said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm going to catch you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the 